just arrived in China. I'm not driving, I'm not allowed to, I don't have a driver's license in China. Just one of many things that are different over here. And what else is different, we're gonna take a look at that right now. I'm Wong Ningbo from Adi China, responsible for driver system, system development in China. We are seeing the traffic in China and uh, testing, validate and do the adaptation. We at Mercedes-Benz, we test driver assistance systems worldwide. And here are complex city situations a very specific driving behavior and I want to invite you on our journey of the development of our uh, driver assistance systems. We develop these systems here, we test them here in China, are based in Beijing with a team working on driver system and autonomous driving systems with a number of people, number of teams in our global R&D team. We will use the findings, of course, to adapt our systems, to turn some knobs, uh, to make some fine adjustments, market-specific, for example, uh, very dense traffic scenarios to better fit into the flow of, in this case, Chinese traffic. We found some very interesting, very new situations from highways uh, to multi-story skyways to very crowded areas where there is mixed traffic. We had a lot of challenges, for example, for our camera. We have here huge crossings without any lane markings. And the problem is here that the active steering assist cannot help you there because you do not have any lane markings where the system can orientate to. To make our systems better, I think in the first step we should individualize them more for the Chinese market. The next topic is map data. We also can enhance map data and include them even more to make also better systems and to challenge or to accept the challenge with the future of autonomous driving. China was quite the trip and great experience, not only for vocabulary, we learned a lot. So I'm going to say, Zai China, and good day Australia. Yeah.